So we're going to solve a system of equations. This one is a three by three. See, there's three equations and three variables. So it's a little more involved. And we've covered previous methods on this before, row operations and um, Kramer's method. This time we're going to do something called matrix algebra, which involves using the inverse of a certain matrix. So let's get started. You notice first thing I did was I converted this system of equations right here into matrix form, right? AX equals B, where A is the coefficient matrix. You can see those numbers are just the coefficients of these variables over here. And then X is just the variable matrix X, Y, Z. And then B is the solution matrix over here, 4, 1, 3, that you see on the right-hand side of these uh, equations. So with this converted into matrix form, I want to point out something. Do you notice how the numbers in the coefficient matrix are what's given to us over here, except it says the inverse of this thing. So what this problem is doing is it's saying, by the way, the inverse of this matrix, just in case you're interested, is this thing. Now, why might we be interested in that? Well, let's see. If you were to do some matrix algebra here and multiply on the left by the inverse of A, and likewise over here, you multiply on the left by the inverse of A, something very nice and convenient happens. When you multiply A inverse by A, you get the identity matrix. Okay, that's what, that's what you get there. And then, obviously, we still have the rest of it. Identity matrix times X equals A inverse B. And then you can realize that, well, I times X, that's just X, right? One times anything is just the thing. So the identity matrix goes away. That's what's so nice about it. And you get this equation. X equals A inverse times B. Now, X is what we're looking for. I would love to know what these things are. That's the point of the problem. We want to know what X, Y, and Z are. So we're going to solve this equation by taking A inverse and multiplying by B. Now, remember what I just said. A inverse is this guy. Okay, this matrix right here. So let's go ahead and do this multiplication. The matrix X, the variable matrix, equals negative 3 times 2 times negative 3. I can do better over here. That's a negative 3. Negative 7, 5, negative 8, negative 2, 1, negative 2. And it's all of that times the solution matrix, B, which was 4, 1, negative 3. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to focus on, let's say, top row. Okay, top row of this thing times the solution matrix is going to turn out this way. It's going to be, let's see, um, I'll, I'll write it this way. So I'm going to have, this is going to look big, but what I'm trying to draw here is a three row, one column matrix, where the column is just going to be really wide because I have a lot of math to sort out. So it's negative three times four plus two times one plus negative three times negative three. And then the row below that, I'll just mark that in green. We're going to multiply the row below it times this matrix right here. We get negative seven times four plus five times one plus negative eight times negative three. And the last row here, the third row times the solution matrix is going to be negative two times four plus one times one plus negative two times negative three. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and do those calculations. What this is going to turn into is the following. Negative three times four is negative 12. Two plus one, two times one is two. And this guy over here is nine. So negative 12 plus two plus nine. You can do the math on that one. That's gonna be negative one. For the next row down, we get negative 28 plus 5 plus 24. So that looks like a positive one once you add those together. And this last one here is going to be negative 8 plus 1 plus 6. So that's going to be negative, I don't know why I drew that, negative 1. Okay, remember, that's what x is. 
Now x from earlier is just x, y, z. So if you compare these things, let's do that. Let's drag this guy over here. Uh, I need you right over here. Okay, compare this. Negative 1, 1, negative 1. So that means if you read that set of numbers, x is negative 1, the top entry. y is the middle one, that's 1. z is the bottom one, negative 1. So the key here, I think, in looking this problem over, is this formula that I'm boxing in in magenta right here. x, which is the variable matrix, equals the inverse of a times b. Once you sort through the matrix multiplication, you've got your answers right here, which makes, I think, inverses the easiest way to solve systems of equations if you just happen to know this thing. Now, if you don't know that inverse, well, then you've got a, you're going to have a real time of it. But um, if you do know that inverse, it makes it quite quick.